Good afternoon. Welcome back to the allotment. It is Easter Monday, so I hope you all had a lovely Easter weekend break. Uh, we have two bank holidays here in England, so we had a day off on Friday and we got a day off today, so my weekend is extra long and I'm loving it. Um, uh, today I have been to our local garden centre to try and get some strolch. Unfortunately, they were out of stock, but they did have some little seedlings and that's what I'm going to get planted now. It's turned into such a beautiful day. You would never believe it was trying to snow this morning. That was mad. It was like really tiny hailstones that looked like snow. And then it was big old flurries, big old flakes coming down. And uh, it didn't last for very long though. It's weird, isn't it? How you get that like full spring where it's beautiful weather and then it turns into winter again for a few days. Right, uh, I'm over at the very end of what is the newer side of my plot. I'll just show you where I am. So this is the back bit which we started clearing all the rubbish out of. There's the greenhouse and that's the pea. It's not pea, I don't know. Mum keeps calling it pea and bean bed. It's not. It's just the beans are going in there. The beans along with a load of spinach and pak choy hopefully. I just need to get it hammered down a little bit and uh, then I'm going to put my um, my pack of choy and spinach in there once it's been topped up with a with a chunk of compost so that's ready and I'm in between these two newer beds so this one has got elephant garlic in it which is all starting to grow quite nicely apparently they're a little bit close together but yeah they're in now we're gonna go with it and today I am over here planting out these stock beauties so these are celeriac plants. Now I picked these up at the local nursery today because none of my seeds have got going at all. None of them. Mum really wanted to try these. They have a really, really long growing season. They take forever to mature. So we're going to tuck them in this little bed out of the way for them to chug away as they please. And uh, hopefully when it comes to proper winter we'll have some nice big roots like i said these are one of mum's choices i not really eaten celeriac before but i will give it a go because obviously we're growing it ourselves and it will taste different um but yeah i'm gonna get these in they need to be about 30 centimeters a foot apart so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna lay them out first and then try and get them stuck in shouldn't take too long So as predicted that didn't take very long at all. Um, I've only got space for nine of them in this bed. Um, as I said I've not grown them before so I've tried to look up online how far apart they should be grown um, just to make sure I give them the best chance. Um, at least then I know it's not spacing <laughs> that's killed them. Um, so yeah I'm gonna give them a jolly good water and then I've still got I think like four seedlings left so I'm gonna try and find a little patch tucked out of the way somewhere where I could shove the others. There we go, all planted, watered. They've got a nice sunny spot there, so hopefully they'll do well. The other couple that I had left over, I've just planted in the corners of the rhubarb bed, um, just because I didn't have anywhere else to put them that I don't like have things lined up for. So most of the other beds are gonna be full of something else. And if there is space, then I'll stick something in there, but I don't wanna put them in there and then risk not having enough space for actually what I want to go in there. Does that make sense? Or have I just said in there too many times? <laughs> yeah, look, I'll show you what I've done with them. There, can you see? I've just put them in the, in the corners. There's one in the middle that was a tiny little straggly one that I had to sort of pull apart from another. One in that corner. And then one in this corner. All watered. 
the rhubarb is already getting quite large but we'll see how we go I don't think it's flowering I have been trying to check just because we've moved it this year and I don't want it to get uh, too stressed well it's a bit late now but I'm hoping it won't be too stressed and produce flowers but it's looking good so far right if I get all the bits from near the celeriac so I can take them home and my next job that I want to try and do is organize all the wood that we brought down the other day so my nan bless her did some skip diving for me and she uh, managed to get a load of old decking boards from her neighbor and uh, me and the boy went up there and we cut them all down to size and they're now all at the allotment so what I'm gonna do is try and measure them I remind myself of where they're all going <laughs> stick them there and then if I have time I'll build some little beds but if not then at least they're there ready for when I come up with the boy next time and we can get them um, get them ready for more things in spring this is the pile of wood that I am going to be sorting out today it's on the new side of the allotment this is going to be a brassica bed. I've already started putting some bits around the edges that I guessed where they were going, but I'm gonna measure them properly and make sure that they're in the right place. So this one's gonna be a narrow little bed. You can see it's only gonna be about that wide. And uh, it's gonna go all the way down here. Excuse the uh, previous tenant's rubbish. Um, all the way to the same sort of length as this one. So it'll come across here and there's gonna be flowers in that bed cut flowers i'm excited to get things like that planted as well as vegetables the flowers will not only introduce all those beneficial insects that all of us gardeners are after to help us produce our fruit and veg but um they'll be beautiful as well and i can take some home so we've uh we've gone with seedlings this year we've ordered a load from sarah raven um, there's a whole mixture of things, zinnias and cosmos and um, all those pretty, uh, like frilly, flowery plants. And they're due to arrive Aprilish time, so a couple of weeks. So this is the next most urgent bed that I want to get sorted. Uh, you can see behind me that um, I've started prepping another bed for brassicas. Um, and I'll show you how I've made all of my hoops and the netting cage bit to go over the top later but yeah the next bit is trying to sort out this bed so it's important I find the right pieces I'm ready to get this up and running for a cut flower season Ugh, exciting <laughs> trickier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, oh well. I've got all the pieces now for the bed. It's only going to be about 80 centimetres wide but it's going to be three and a half metres long. So we should be able to get two rows of whatever seedlings we've got coming because honestly I ordered them so long ago I can't, can't remember. <laughs> I'm sure that some of you guys are the same. Order things and then think now what was in that? What was in that order? I know I certainly do it. So I found most pieces that I need, I think. I've got all the bits for this bed. It's gonna be quite long, it's gonna be as long as this one here. I found the other four that will make the second layer of that little square there. I found most of the pieces for this bed, although I recall it being about 3.4 meters which means I need like a metre piece at the end and I only seem to have one spare piece that is a metre long which has confused me so either I've cut something wrong or this bed is going to end up longer those bits are for the fruit bed those bits are 1.2 metres so they must be for the fruit bed because I've got nowhere else that needs 1.2 metre long pieces 
However, it is entirely possible that I've just got myself into a mucking fuddle. You must know me by now. It's, 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 that's not an unlikely scenario. Right. What next? It's starting to warm up now, so I might try and do something with that bed. Try and get out some of those old raspberry canes and get the rubbish cleared out. And then it will be one step closer to being ready for flowers. Oh. Right, let's get going. down and a drink because that small bed <laughs> I'd fight with brambles didn't realize there were brambles in there thought it was just some little raspberry canes found some beefy bramble roots oh my goodness I had to start I thought right I'll come back to it <laughs> again got it out though it was not going to defeat me so I've got that out but I've broken this weather oh <laughs> but yeah what's going on with this weather it's glorious it's hot now it's hot or at least it feels hot. I really want to try and get that bed built. I know I probably shouldn't do it by myself, but then it'll feel like I've actually achieved something when I'm down here. So I'm going to have a hunt about for the next oh, battening pieces. They're, I know that the boy brought them down here, so they're around somewhere. They might be in the greenhouse, actually. That might be a good place to look first. I'm going to try and cut some steaks and then stick it together. I have brought the tools just in case that's what I wanted to do and then I got distracted with other things. But what's the time? Oh, it's five o'clock. I might just about get it done before I have to dash off. All right, stop chatting. Get working. <laughs> See you there. I have started the bed. This is how wide it's going to be. It's going to go all the way to the bottom of there, all the way up to here. And it's going to be another no-dig bed because it's weeds in this. It will have cardboard in the bottom or newspaper or both. And then we'll top it out of compost. And it'll be lovely for the flares to start with. So that'll be good. All right, I'm going to have a tidy up now and I'm going to go home because although I've only got like a third of the bed built, I was knackered. It suddenly got hot. I'm not dressed for it and uh, it's almost dinner time. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go home. I hope you've had a lovely weekend and that you're uh, making progress with whatever you like to do in the garden. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.